we're looking at a Johnson Viking Challenger transmitter, 1960s vintage, 90 watt CW, 50 watt AM screen modulated transmitter. I've got it uh, hooked up right now using a D104 as the microphone and um, just talking with the West Coast AM group at uh, 3870 kilohertz and if you want to look at the <clears throat> side of and the back of this radio see that Johnson made a pretty simple radio connection wise what's added here is a um, gain control audio gain control screen uh, modulation and I gotta tell you that the screen modulation on this transmitter is probably as good as sounds as good as plate modulation on uh, on a lot of radios uh, this has been modified for audio um, mod audio mods it's been recapped so it's really ready to uh, ready to go on AM or CW loads up to full power and uh, this is one of the uh, Johnson series radios again of the 60s pretty much all original don't know about the originality of the tubes I'd say the uh, the face is about a an 8 with a couple of blotches here and there but I'm not sure if that can be taken off or not but if you're into AM and you want to get back on the AM band, then this is the radio you want. Crystals, plug right in. So just find one for your local AM frequency. Uh, this one's on 80 meters right now. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you'll be welcomed into the group because it sounds great. I, I just got some great reports tonight from uh, from stations on the west coast so uh, this is the Viking Challenger by uh, E.F. Johnson